Hello, Steve Bostador here from BosTech, and I am the author of the BosTech BNC Scan Enterprise Network Manager. And I'm going to show you a feature coming up in the new version of VNC Scan that will allow you to share your data with your fellow workers. So no more uh, yelling over the cubicle, okay, hey, add this computer with this IP address, blah, 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 blah. Now you'll be able to all share the same data on the network. And I want to start by showing you kind of where we're coming from. Yeah, all of the data in the past was stored in flat XML files. And the problem with that is that if you have multiple people trying to pull your know, data from one of these files, like say, for example, your groups.xml file. Let's open that up in Notepad and see what that looks like. Now, say if I want to pull all of the settings from this group, and so does John, uh, we, I pull up and I modify, say, the timeout value on this group. I need to read this entire file into memory, modify that one line, and then write the entire file back. And if I read this entire thing in memory, and I'm in the process of changing that, John reads the entire file into memory, and he wants to change that. Okay, so John is quicker at the save button than I am, so he saves his down. And his setting is saved. Now I go to save mine, and I'm going to copy this entire file down on top of his. Now what happens? He loses his settings, and I keep mine. Now, what happens if we both try to do it at exactly the same time? The whole file corrupts out. You'll end up with something like, you know, this, or, you know, some gobbledygook in the middle of a, of a file. It's something that got changed and uh, renders it no longer XML. And what happens then is your program bombs out. And then you email me <laughs> or someone else's support. So I'm going to hit don't save on that because I don't want that to happen here. So I'm going to launch the new version, and a lot of work went into this to get all of this data to seamlessly import into the new database uh, so that you don't lose anything. So I'm going to choose OK, continue my trial. And when it comes up, we wrote into it a little wizard here. And it says import computers or groups and computers. All right, so I'm going to choose yes, I do want to import my stuff from my previous because you see there's nothing there. So I choose OK, and it brings up this thing. It's gonna it's gonna prefill in the groups with what you found, and I'm going to hit import, <laughs> and there it is. So now we've imported the computers from those XML files that I was just showing you into the database. So now that we have it here, I want to share this with John. So I'm, let's bring up his computer. So. Now here, here's John's computer. He has a fresh install of VNC Scan also, but he's got nothing in his groups. Nothing there at all, poor John. <laughs> and he wants to have computers now. So what I need to first do is flip back to my computer, and I need to put these things out somewhere where John can access them. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to hit my preferences. And I'll go to my support files. And there's an area here called location of data root. Now this is key because this is where we were just at right now with all of or previously with with all of, all of those XMLs. I'm going to change that now someplace. Now technically I could create a share here on my VNC scan folder point John at it and, and it would be fine. But let's put this out on a network location where we both have. So let's go let's uh, let's find out on the network. We're both we both connect to the home cloud. So Go on here and we'll put it under storage 2. I'm going to make a new folder. I'll call it um, Steve and John. There. So now we have Steve and John. And now it's going to say, do I want to move everything? You know, copy everything over there. Well, of course I do. <laughs> right? Why wouldn't I? So I'm going to choose yes. And the flashy DOS box comes up <laughs> and copies all this stuff over. Now here we are. I'm going to just. Now, you don't normally have to do this, but I like to do this just to be safe. Let's close out of the program. And then let's open it back up again now. Just to make sure that we have everything where it's supposed to be. I'm going to hit continue trial. So, here we are now. I have all of my stuff shared out where John is, or where, where John's going to be. Now, I'm going to go back over to John's computer here. And I'm going to do almost the same thing. So I'm going to bring up the preferences. I'm going to go to the support files. And see he's still pointing. <laughs> Say John, but it, it's me. <laughs> you caught me. So <laughs> I'm going to bring up 
Did not work. And this is bring up the network very slowly. Okay, so there it is. I didn't have network discovery turned on. I had to <laughs> pull some uh, trickery and pause the video and go turn on network discovery on this computer. So here we go. So now I can discover on the network and find files. So I'm going to go to the same place on the home cloud. And I'm going to go to storage 2. Let's find Steve and John. There we go. And okay. Now, same question comes up. Do you want to move your data? You don't want to do it for John. Okay, so we'll say no. There, so now everything is good there. And let's close out of VNC scan. Open it back up again. Continue the trial. And here we go. We got the same data now. So here we are. Just to kind of show you that it's the same data, I'm going to update this one. So let's go, uh, let's rescan this guy. See if he's got alive. So, okay, I found it. And it's, it, it switched RDP and, and pinged to true, but it doesn't have VNC on there. So let's switch back over to this computer and I'm going to hit refresh which F5 refreshes and sure enough there it is so see you can, they're sharing the same data I can uh, I can even delete a computer let's let's delete this computer here there so now view is gone I'm going to go over here refresh the data and view is gone you also refresh by switching from group to group so there you go we have two computers sharing the same data and you could probably have maybe up to about 20 sharing uh, data and it should be fine. Another uh, major improvement we meet that we've made here is the background scanning. So let's turn that on. Let's go back to the preferences and right here the very f first uh, page and it says start a background scan every you know minute. I'll say every minute. That's kind of aggressive. You probably don't want to do that because of uh, it'll kill your network. <laughs> Maybe if you if you have all of the computers on your on your network all doing background scans every one minute, you know that's that's a lot of traffic that might be going on, especially if you're over like a VPN or something. But uh, one or two of your computers doing it, really, there's no impact noticeable at all on your network. But you have 20 computers all doing background scans. Now, one thing I do want to show you is that although the data is common between all of your computers, the settings are not. So let's go to the network location. Let's see, we'll bring up the home cloud. So we'll go to storage two. And let's go down to the folder for Steve and John. And let's go into our data folder. Now the settings are unique per computer. So if I have a password saved in my main preferences, that's unique to me. John's not going to see that if I put it in my copy. See so what you can see here is there are different settings files. One for a studio computer that I have, which is another computer. One for my Office Serve computer that I have. And here's Win70 and Win71, which is the two that I have right now. So all of these dash settings files are different copies of settings. And in that settings file are all of the things that are unique to me. See? So it's one way to keep your passwords separate. So John can log in as John when he's accessing remote shares, and I can log in as me. I just need to make sure that that is stored in my preferences and under security and identity. Anything I put in here, only I use. So there you go. This is uh, some of the cool new little features in VNC Scan. And I look forward to hearing any feedback that you guys have from that positive or negative. I want to hear it all because uh, that helps the product turn into a better product. So thank you for watching.